Hello my friends and welcome back! It's episode 31. And we have many enemies right in our face. And yet, they can seemingly do nothing. What should I do about the bombard? Just nuke the bomb bar, shall we? Okay, that's a tank. This boy here should have double move. For some reason I can't move him at all. Well, that's weird. Huh. Or did I already move him? But then he should be able to move again. I mean I can do replacements for example. Okay, well that's super weird. I was gonna move this, like, here. I am seemingly unable to move it.
can't see anything to target it, so. I wonder why I couldn't move this. That was weird. I think they're running out of planes to throw at me. Wow, that was it. That was their whole move. Right, I think we'll send a small detachment down this way. see the enemy from here. <clears throat> the defenders are supposed to be on the front line. Leaving this on the front line does have some element of risk to it. Although it is a... Uh... It is a very powerful unit in its own right. Oh, do you know what? I'm glad I did it, because otherwise this 15 centimeter would have been shooting at me. And instead, he gets nothing. Right, we'll leave these two camouflaged boys to make sure that any visitation of the enemy here will be an un unpleasant experience. I will defend these with a supporter. I think these two defending is probably sufficient to stop any attack from being too severe. place that we've got to go. Like, this is this is the next city objective. This is just a tile in the middle of nowhere, so it's probably not too difficult to deal with. Let's pop you down here. Okay, so this is a river, so obviously it's not actually easy to cross that and actually do anything. I'm gonna give these boys the finger. does not need infantry kills, does it? No. This is this used to be the finger of doom. Back in the day.
You know, these this group here, I'm willing to bet that the AI will go after it hard. And so there might be some wisdom going here. Okay. Come at me. <clears throat> Obviously, I could have just taken the airport, but all that'll do is just make him go somewhere else. Probably over there. Or down here. Oh! Enemy KV. Took a hit on the KV, I should say. at it boys that experience is rolling in my god I guess we can force a rebase here down here so that these guys have got some layers of protection. Are they truly going to just sit there and repair? So I just shoot them over and over and over. It's cloudy again by the way but it's going to be sunny next turn. <clears throat> That is when I will make my move. Okay, are we going across the river or are we going this way? Should I shut down this airport or not? Should I shut down the airport? I must admit my AA guns are having a great time.
I mean, you know, in the future, you want your AA guns to just be destroying everything. It's, it's 1944, we actually haven't got a lot of time until the, uh, until the war is over, so maybe I should just leave it. Keep the enemy as a delicious snack. this guy attacks, since I can see him, he's going to get supported into the next life. feeding on those uh, Soviet aircraft. I just can't... I can't resist how deliciously tasty their experience points and support, power, support points are for my AA guns. Nice. Remember, it's only 20 supports to get the first 10%. Why did this not shoot? was close. Oh, that was close. Go away. another 275 kills to go. You must forever be reminded that these anti-aircraft guns are actually very soft. essentially.
gonna say. Hey, yay. No. <laughs> um. What's going on? Out. I mean, if there's enemies around here, they probably will stick to those towns. We'll see. I need to rearrange how things are going here to protect this AA, this anti-aircraft gun. If it were to be attacked by infantry, it would die right now. my new front line. Okay, I think this defensive positioning is much better. I'll send this little pocket here to harass the airbase and take on this while this group is going to continue to push for here. Nice. The weak one shooting actually, you know, was another supporter point. Oof. Yeah, I guess technically that's not well defended against. It's defended, but not super defended. Okay. Taking lots of damage across the board here, but not losing any Hummels, so that's nice. Oh, 
Oh, he did one damage to me. He actually high rolled there. The filth. Okay, this is the AA gun that's actually not maxed out yet. Your boots, boys. Nice. At least this front line is properly supported. This one's a little bit of a mess. But basically this is defended from tanks by this and infantry by this. This is properly supported, this is properly supported. This is only really defended against tanks, but infantry struggle to penetrate the Hummel anyway. This is properly defended. This is not really very well supported against tanks. There's a few flaws in this setup for the northern side. see the camo. Oh, what a surprise. A tank came and attacked this just after I said. So I literally said it was not properly defended against tanks, but it is a tough unit. Um, okay, all right, I think, uh, I think we're, we're solid. So we got an enemy SU-152 here, and this tank, I can just leave this to heal up, auto heal deals with that, no, no trouble. I just need to rearrange this group so it's an actual proper ball and take out this upper base. While continuing to feed my anti-aircraft guns. Only, th only three more supports for another 10% accuracy. Only two more supports for another 10% accuracy. Eight more supports to improve the accuracy. And I mean this big. 10% extra accuracy is, is really big as uh, supporter units like artillery and anti-aircraft guns live and die on their accuracy. I should probably repair these as well. In fact, I will do and I'll just work around. 
Oh, and it's cloudy again. So I need to think about how I am going to deal with the enemy in a cloudy environment. But yeah, we got 12 turns left. I'm only 6 away from here. And 6 away from here. So basically, I could move one space every other turn and I would be on course to win this engagement. But I am... I could certainly be more aggressive with shooting down enemy aircraft. I just haven't been because I am... I am farming them. I'm sure in the future the Americans... And the Russians will probably have jet aircraft and nasty strategic bombers and all that nonsense. So, let's train up the anti-aircraft guns now. Level 2 support. Seems so far away. This is actually very hard to train up normally. No shadow of a lie. That normally I think it's pretty hard to train up AA guns support. It, you only really get to train it up if you've got camo. Because the AI will never take an attack that's that results in it just losing a plane just sit there anyway that's enough deep thoughts I'll uh, I'll do my thinking and then I shall commence the next episode and I will see you then